Let's see the ring. My wedding ring is super... Super chill, plain. Because my engagement ring, I wanted it to like... So it's just literally... Wait, where is it? It's just a plain gold matte band. But I'm a married lady. I'm a married lady. I am, I am, I am, I am. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a married lady. That's weird. It's weird. My name stayed the same. I'm still Tali Ma. Yeah. So no, you're actually Talia Haddock. I'm legally changing my name to Talia Ma. So I am actually gonna, I'm technically changing my name, but I'm not changing it to Simon's name. Oh, look at him. Very warm in this room. Although my aircon is on, so maybe he can feel that. Did you walk down the aisle to wide, wider stream? So no, but I am, ex I'm so excited to see what I walked down the aisle to, because I think some of you are gonna be like, what? Wait, do any, has, does it, I don't know if anyone said, I walk down to... Wait, should I just play it for the drama? Should I just play it? So this is what I walk down the aisle to. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. If you get it, you get it. It's stay the night, isn't it? Imagine. Could you hear that? Oh, you could hear it. Then Jelly walked out with my little two, my cousins, or my one cousin, because the other cousin was too scared. This is most I'm not gonna lie, it was. Isn't it cute? Yeah, Frey's balling this point. And then this is where I came in. This is where I started walking down the steps. Do you know what, guys? I did so good with crying. I actually didn't cry the whole morning, didn't cry once. And then when my dad saw me, I had a little, like, slightly teary moment, but I was fine. It was only just as I stepped out to walk down the stairs that I literally, like, sobbed. <laughs> but I actually, well, when I say sob, no, I think I did really well. I think I did good. Just, oh my God, everyone's having to sound and cry. Uh, he didn't cry. He didn't cry, cry. Like, he was teary, but like, didn't cry. He did good. He did good. He looked tanned. Well, we got married in Italy, so I am tanned. <laughs> I was in Italy. Oh, my God. What we walked out. So I walked out to that. And then obviously when we leave the R, we have to walk out to a song. And if you are an OG... You'll know why I picked this song. I will wait for the ads. Um, if you're an OG, you'll know why I picked this song. And if you've seen a very specific video and you know, like you'd have to know what was playing. Wait, where is it? Um... The blessings come down. Cute. Very cute. Anyway. <laughs> Does Simon have a song? No, he was already there. He didn't want to walk down the aisle. He wanted to just be there. He's like, that sounds so stressful. Yeah, we had a videographer, but I don't think, I don't think it's going to be something we share. We might share bits of it, but I don't think we'll share the whole video. Um, I don't know. We were, just, we were saying we'll watch it first and then we'll decide because obviously you just never know. But who's best man? Simon didn't have a best man. Why is that directly on me? JJ claimed himself best man. I mean, we had, so we originally had no speeches. We said no speeches. Like we're not gonna do them because we didn't want to stress anyone out. And we didn't want to like ask anyone to do a speech. And then on the day, so my dad got ready with Simon and all the groomsmen, and obviously Simon's dad. On the day, my dad apparently was like, well, my dad says to me, he was like, I kind of want to say something. And I was like, I mean, if you want to speak, we have a mic, you can. Like, I don't, if you want to, go for it. Like, I didn't want to stress him out, so I didn't want to ask him. But I was like, if you want to speak, go for it. So in the morning, he was, like, egging the boys on, being like, is anyone else going to do a speech? So then JJ was like, yeah, screw it, I'll do a speech. Randolph was like, yeah, screw it, I'll do a speech. So all of a sudden, I was originally the only one that was going to speak, and I didn't do a speech. I just basically wanted to toast to Alex, my, our, like, our assistant, who, like, helped so much. So that's literally all I said. I was like, thanks for coming. Toasted Alex, move on. And then my dad did a speech, which was so emotional. He just, he didn't read anything. He literally just spoke. Like he just on the, like off the cuff, just spoke, just did a speech. And it was so good. I was like, bruh, pop off. Then JJ did a speech, which was freaking like, <laughs> bro. JJ's speech ended with an acapella version of, of Lamborghini. So yeah. <laughs> He literally started with an AI speech. Like it was AI and it was hilarious. And then he did like, and then he moved on to like the rest of the speech. And then he just goes, and I have to, I have to do this. He was like, 
the rock um, and he just starts just literally just starts doing lamborghini and we're all sat there like what is happening right now <laughs> so yeah that was a very that was a wild moment <laughs> popped off though it did pop off um also i know that they've done a the jj say about his suit <laughs> I assume you guys know about this because um, they've done a podcast, right? He ripped it off. No, not that he took it off. He didn't say what he had on the suit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, all the boys, like Simon had like Talia and Simon, um, like, in, what's it called? When you like have something, why can I not think of the word? Not engraved on fabric embroidered so yeah simon had like talia and simon like with the date embroidered on it jj got kaya simon <laughs> embroidered on his suit <laughs> so his cuff said kaya simon on them <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> till the very end <laughs> it was hilarious How's Randy's speech? Oh yeah, did they tell you what Randy said then? And how he brought up the Mushu tattoo. <sighs> that was fun. Did Freya do a speech? No, no, no. Yeah, Freya missed the kiss. She was so upset. She was so upset. I said you curtain to hide the kiss. No, no, she was just happened to be just sat somewhere where her vision was slightly blocked. Everyone else saw it. <laughs> it was just Freya that missed it. Oh, and Randy, I think, missed it as well. He kept seeing, he kept screaming like, kiss again. <laughs> Why was it in Italy? Because I am Italian. I love G's video of you singing. So, Sagala did a set at our wedding. I invited Sagala, he did a set. It was so, 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 so good. And like, I don't know why I didn't expect to be handed a mic when obviously Stay the Night was gonna come on. Like, that was gonna happen. But I kept saying to everyone, everyone was like, you're gonna sing tonight. I was like, no, there's nothing more cringe than me singing at my own wedding. Like, I'm not like, no, I'm obviously not doing that. And then they had me the mic and I was just there like screaming, no, you can, there's like a video of me going, no, like, no. Cause I was like, this is literally what I said. I didn't, I wasn't gonna do that. It was so cringe and I was just not gonna do that. And yeah, so I just was like, ha ha ha, so awkward. Was Harry there? Of course Harry was there. Imagine we didn't invite Harry to our wedding. Sorry. The dress was gorgeous. Was it custom made? No, it wasn't custom. It was from uh, Galia Lahav, which is a wedding dress designer that I have been obsessed with. And I, oh yeah, Uto, Uto, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Did you have a honeymoon or anything? We haven't had a honeymoon yet. We stayed in a city for a few days with his uh, family, but, uh, well, my family now. But um, no, we haven't had a honeymoon yet. Um, but yeah, with the dress, I, yeah, so obviously that was, I didn't even know who Dave was until like two days ago. <laughs> Mrs. Talia <laughs> Did you get really drunk? I did not. I, I had alcohol, but like I didn't drink. My dress was quite tight. So I, there wasn't really much room for alcohol. Was that when the villa wasn't, oh no, that was, that was nothing to do with us. The villa that the boys stayed in was separate to what we had done. Um, like the Sidemen boys, they all like rented a villa and JJ didn't like it. But that was that I was on then. Did you grow up planning your dream wedding or was it all new ideas? I never wanted to get married growing up. Was not, didn't want kids, didn't want to get married, didn't want a boyfriend, like it was just not my thing. So yeah, it was all new ideas and all just stuff I'd seen. I was like, that looks cool. I think I, that's why I felt fairly chill. Cause I was like, I don't really have, there's no specific dream wedding in my head that I've had for a long time. So I can't really be let down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was me at the wedding. No more mojitos. <laughs> the mojitos were good at the wedding. They were good. You and your apple mojitos, though. Ah, thanks, Major. Who was bridesmaids and groomsmen? Bridesmaids were G, Freya, my sister, my two cousins, Anita and Tasha, and then my two baby cousins, Evie and Teddy. Um, and then groomsmen were Simon's brothers, Toby, Josh. JJ Randolph. How would you first like meeting Olive? The best. Olive is really freaking cute. And her little sunglasses had me dead every single time I saw them. I literally was like, you are the most precious little baby. I cannot. Yeah, jelly. My sister was my maid of honor. Although for us, groomsmen and bridesmaids, they didn't really 
do anything. Not as in they didn't do anything for us, as in we didn't ask them to do anything. Because we had, I've got an assistant and we had a planner and I'm a control freak. So like, maid of honor didn't really mean anything. It was just like, you're obviously my, my girly. So there, was, there wasn't really a point in having Maid of Honor or there wasn't really a point in having bri bridesmaids or grooms in. It was just that we could dress them up and be cute. <laughs> uh, it was in Tuscany. Well, Umbria. It was in Umbria, Perugia. Why did the boys wear trainers? Because I don't know about you guys, but like men's smart shoes are so ugly and they're uncomfortable. It's like a lose-lose situation. I don't know a single man that looks at smart shoes and goes, I want to wear them. Every boy I know hates them. Every boy I know hates them. Like, they're not comfortable and they're like, they're not cute. It's not even like you look at them, you go, do you know what? They look fire though. You Like, they look stiff. <laughs> Were you wearing smart shoes, Josh? I didn't even notice. Um, so Simon was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I was like, just wear trainers. Like, if you want to wear trainers, wear trainers. And he was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to wear trainers. And I think it looks so much better. I'm not a, um, I'm not a smart shoe girly. Also, what made me laugh is in a lot of the photos you guys are looking at where you're like, oh my God, can't believe Sam's wearing trainers. I'm in Crocs under that dress. I hope you realize. I wore heels down the aisle and took them off and changed into Crocs. I was in white Crocs <laughs> underneath that. <laughs> so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so everyone's going at him like, I can't believe he's wearing, like, what does Talia think of that? And I'm like, bitch, if you knew what was under my dress... We didn't do a first dance major, otherwise, yeah, but it would have been in Crocs. Like I wore heels for 20 minutes and then was like, why am I doing this? Can't even see them. I'm putting my Crocs on. The whole evening was in my Crocs. Um, yeah, we can't, we couldn't have flown Mushu out. A, a lot of dogs flying is not a good option for them. Um, he'd have hated it, he'd have been terrified. And B, it's hot in Italy and he is a fluffy boy. Um, and it would not have been fair to him to have him in a country like that. Um, yeah. Oh, look at him! Did you throw a bouquet? I didn't have a bouquet. Didn't have a bouquet. bouquet? Why do I think bouquet? Okay. I didn't have a bouquet. Whoa, I forgot how I say that word. Bouquet. Bouquet. Did you throw your bouquet? I didn't have one. I didn't want one. I know. And it's quite controversial. I had the, the bridesmaids had them. But like, when I look at them, the bouquet, I'm going to say bouquet. I'm like, I'm literally just holding a decoration. And it, the more I thought about it, the weirder it got to me. So I was like, I don't want one. I didn't have a veil either. I felt like I was in church when I put a veil on. But yeah, when I was holding it, I was like, I literally am just holding, I'm just holding a piece of decoration. Like, <laughs> and like the more I thought about it, the weirder it got. <laughs> and like, I literally gave myself the ick about it. I was stood there like holding some flowers and I was like, nah, I need to, nah. Also, like, I'm, I'm obviously, my whole life I've been a performer. I will, I, I'm in front of people all the time. So I wasn't nervous about where to put my hands. Like, the same way that, like, when you walk down the street, you don't think, like, what am I going to do with my hands when I walk down the street? You just, you, your hands just exist with you in perfect harmony because you always have them. You only start to think about what to do with your hands when you're in a situation where you're nervous. Now, I was like, I'm not nervous about being in front of people, so I don't, I'm not going to think about my hands. So I was like, it's not really a thing for me. Obviously, I had one hand on my dad, like holding him, and the other hand was just next to me. But I was like, it just felt weird, the thought of just holding a piece of the decoration that's around me. Like, it was just bizarre.